For years, I thought I really made amazing pesto until I tried the pesto recipe we're gonna make today, pesto genovese. This is by far the bestest pesto I have ever had in my life. And we have been freezing it so that we can have it all year long. And we'll talk about how to do that as well as how to make it. Let's get cooking. Pesto is a staple food from Italy. It is uh, one of the great examples of why the Mediterranean diet is so good for you. It's just packed with antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, all kinds of vitamins and minerals. Uh, it's really good for your digestion. It's good for your heart, good for your immune system. It's really, in a lot of ways, the perfect food. Today's recipe, which comes from one of our chefs in Italy, Georgia Fontana, is super easy to make and it's so much better than any pesto you will ever try. And again, like I said before, it's all about the ratios. So let's make the pesto. With any Mediterranean recipe, but especially with pesto genovese, you want to have the freshest, highest quality ingredients possible. And what could be any fresher than picking basil from your own garden just moments before you make the pesto? What kind of basil do you want to use for pesto genovese? Well, Genovese basil, of course. It is slightly sweet, mildly peppery, and the traditional basil used for Italian pesto. It's also known as sweet basil. Now, I'm not big into measuring ingredients by weight, but I do weigh the basil because the ratio of basil to cheese and olive oil is what makes this the bestest pesto ever. Weigh out three and a half ounces of pre-washed basil leaves without the stems. If you don't have a scale, then measure about six cups of loose or three and a half cups of tightly packed basil leaves. If you are buying the basil at the store, try to get organic. But whether you bought it or picked it, it is important to wash it. You can do a couple of soaks in a bowl and then add it to a colander and give it one last rinse. It's very important that the basil is as dry as possible. You want the liquid in pesto to be from olive oil, not from water. After draining the basil, you can dry it in paper towels or with a clean dish towel, but the best way to dry basil is with a salad spinner. The basil should sound like this when it is really dry. Next is the cheese. Again, you want to have the highest quality Parmesan cheese you can find. You could use the cheap cheese in the green container with the added fillers, but it just won't taste as good. It's best to grate your own cheese. This recipe calls for one cup of Parmesan and a quarter cup of Pecorino Sardo, which is a goat cheese that is sweet and awesome for pesto. If you can't find the Pecorino, don't worry, just use one and a quarter cups of Parmesan. Pre-shred the cheese before you add it to the food processor. Next, give a medium clove of garlic a good smashing with the flat side of a knife. And then to a food processor, add the garlic, the cheese, and a third of a cup of pine nuts. Chop these ingredients in the food processor for about 15 to 20 seconds until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Next, add the basil and a half a teaspoon of coarse sea salt. The coarse sea salt blended into the pesto produces surprising little crunches of salty goodness in every bite. Now, turn on the food processor and while it's running, Drizzle in a half a cup of the best extra virgin olive oil you can find. Process it until everything is well chopped and the pesto is nice and creamy and you are done. And there you have it. Amazing, creamy, garlicky, and cheesy pesto genovese. A super delicious Italian pesto. It can be used on all kinds of things. I actually love to put it on a uh, roasted potato salad. You could also put it on, of course, pasta, which is the, the traditional way to do it. You can put it on, uh, use it as a sandwich spread. Um, you can put it in salad dressing, just add a little bit more oil. And there's just so many uh, amazing things that you can do with it. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. The link will be below so you can try it out. And remember, live with purpose, Love with abandon and eat with passion. I'll see you next time.